it's alexis here and welcome back to my flower youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be going through my experience attending the first ever black girl floors conference so i actually flew to atlanta for four days and i attended the first ever black girl floors conference and there i spoke and i did a lot of flower arranging and teaching so i'm just going to kind of go through and share with you guys my experience at the conference and just my overall first solo trip this conference took place at the weston hotel in the heart of atlanta and we stayed in the overlook area and that's where we did all of our learning i had the wonderful opportunity to work with all of these beautiful blooms you see here today. So I was working with quicksand roses, mother of pearl, which are the roses you see here. They had toffee roses, which were absolutely gorgeous. So it was my job here to create all of the round table centerpieces. So there were only four of those. So that is what I am doing here. So I'm just gonna start here by greening up my face here and I'm just going to try to hide the mechanics and the floral foam and the tape first. So then I'm going to just start adding in my blooms that you see here and I'm really focusing on like a more garden style design with like a little bit more free flowing. So what I like to do here is I like to just cluster my alike flowers together into groups of threes. I like working in odd numbers here. This is Toni McDaniel, everyone. She specializes in luxury wedding floral design, and right now she is doing a luxury bloom box. So she is located in the heart of Atlanta here, and I actually got the opportunity to make the centerpiece bases for the trees with her. We are making the rest of the centerpiece base trees as a class, but we just wanted to have one already made as an example. Now guys, this isn't my work, but I thought it would be really cool to share and show you guys some of the really amazing talented floral pieces that these black florists created while I was there at the conference. So I will link all their Instagrams here, but this is some of the beautiful work that they have created for us. The first speaker I got to listen to was Abra Lee. She explained the history of black florists and how far we have come. And here are my flower friends, guys. This is Valerie, who has created the Black Girl Florist Group. And of course, Miss Tony, who is the luxury designer that I helped do the arrangements with earlier. So it's the next day here, and it was my turn to do my speech. So I did my speech, and I unfortunately didn't get any footage of my speech, but I did get some footage of my flower class here. So it was my job to teach everyone how to green a low centerpiece. Then it was Tony's job to teach how to actually insert the flowers and make the arrangement look beautiful. And then it was Tina at Fabulous Fox Designs job to do the tall centerpiece installations. So that is what we are doing here. We ended up using fake flowers for the tall trees, so those are fake cherry blossom blooms that you see there. And when I tell you guys, it really does take a team to create these huge beautiful installations you see. Like, we were all working at max speed here and I would say it took us about maybe two hours to set up this huge event. But overall, I think we did a fantastic job, guys. It really does take a team of florists to make it absolutely beautiful, but in the end, I really think we pulled it off, guys. So here's the before, and here's the after. So what we have done here, we have created the reception room for the award ceremony for tonight. So there is a big award ceremony that we are doing to just kind of Appreciate all of the florists and the work that we have done over the past year. So that is what this award ceremony is about tonight. Here is my outfit of the night. I was actually nominated for the Best Floral Educator of the Year Award for 2021. 
but I unfortunately did not get the award, but I am still super blessed that I was even nominated and even put in the same category as some of these other amazing florists. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted for me and who really just put my name out there and got me to where I am today, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. So, so the final day that I was at the conference, with the leftover flowers, we did a wrap bouquet class, which was actually really insightful because I always wondered, like, what do other florists do with the rest of the flowers after their events are done? What do they do with them? This is a really great way to reuse the flowers that you already have and to actually make some more money once you're done the event. I learned a really simple way on how to wrap a bouquet called the 54321 method. You start with two different types of greens. I have Israeli Ruscus, so we're going to start with five pieces of that, four pieces of Italian Ruscus, three focal flowers, or quicksand roses, two secondary flowers, or carnations, one filler flower, Alstromeria, and then I like to add a fun element. So I've got pompous grass and dried wheat. Now you could simply wrap it and leave it like this, or you could add a little bit of spice. And what I like to do is I like to add more flowers, but in odd numbers. So like threes, fives, and sevens. I find that odd numbers tend to look the best. But what you do is you kind of just build it up like that, and then you are all done. Here are some of the other really beautiful designs created at the conference. I thought it was really cool how everyone kind of took their knowledge of flowers and made the arrangements their own. That really just goes to show you that floral design is art, and art is what you make of it. We also learned how to make mini wearables as well. I made a hair comb piece. I'm so grateful to have met all these amazing women this past weekend, and I'm even more grateful to have made such deep connections and to be able to call a place home. It's so important that we as black women come together and create community rather than always try to tear each other down and feel like we are in competition with one another. And that is what I really love about Black Girl Floors. We really made history here this past weekend, and I hope I get invited to next year's 2023 Floral Conference. For more information about how to join the Black Girl Florist community, click the link in the description box below and that I'll take you to their website. If you love flowers like I do, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every Monday about floral design and business tips and advice. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram at flowersbyalexis, and I will see you all soon with another video. Bye!